You have probably seen bolts of lightning strike earth during thunderstorms and have some idea of the power of electricity. A bolt of lightning is a sudden massive surge of electricity between the sky and the ground beneath. The energy in a single lightning bolt is enough to light a small city for a day. Electricity is the most versatile energy source that we have and it is also one of the newest homes and businesses have been using it for more than a hundred years. Electricity has played a vital part of our past but it could play a different role in our future. With many more buildings generating their own renewable electric power using solar cells and wind turbines. Let us take a closer look at electricity and find out how it works. Electricity is a type of energy that can build up in one place or flow from one place to another. When electricity gathers in one place, it is known as static electricity. The word static means something that doesn't move. Electricity that moves from one place to another is called current electricity. We have learnt about static electricity in our previous standard. Let us understand more about current electricity. When electrons move, they carry electrical energy from one place to another. This is called current electricity or an electric current. A lightning bolt is one example of an electric current although it doesn't last very long. Electric currents are also involved in powering all the electrical appliances that you use from washing machines to flashlights and from telephones to mp3 players. These electric currents last much longer. Electricity stored in a battery is an example of electrical potential energy. You can use the energy in a battery to power a flashlight. For example, when you switch on a flashlight, the battery inside begins to supply electrical energy to the lamp, making it give off light. All the time the light is switched on, energy is flowing from the battery to the lamp. Over time, the energy stored in the battery is gradually turned into light and heat in the lamp. This is why the battery drains and stop functioning if used continuously. The starting point for any story about electricity is charge. So before leaping into circuits, we need to get familiar with the basics. The behavior of electric charges and the connection between charge and electric and magnetic fields and energy. Electrical interactions occur between bodies and particles which have electric charge which, like mass, is a fundamental property of matter. Charge comes in a discrete amounts and like energy, it is always conserved. Unit of charge is coulomb and smallest unit of charge has a magnitude of 1.6 into 10 raised to minus 19 coulomb. There are two types of charges, positive charge and negative charge. Each electron has negative charge while every proton has positive charge. An atom or molecule which has acquired a net electric charge by the addition or removal of a whole number of electrons always has a charge which is some positive or negative integer multiple of E. Most objects normally have the same amount of positive charge as to do negative charge and so are overall electrically neutral. However, it is possible to charge up an object by adding or removing some charged particles such as electrons or ions. When you make an object negative by adding extra electrons, you must be getting those electrons from something which is becoming positive. The total amount of charge is conserved. It is just moved around. Protons are in the nucleus of an atom surrounded by electrons. It takes much less energy to move electrons from one atom to another than break up the nucleus. The PVC pipe is charged by electrons moving between the it and the silk. The plastic rods are charged by organic molecules being broken 
and positively charged segments stripped from the rod. You can accelerate the pipe without touching or blowing on it by holding another charged pipe close by. The charges on the pipe interact via a field. They attract or ripple each other, accelerating the pipe. In physics, fields are used to explain action or force at a distance. We constantly experience a force due to Earth's gravitational field, even when we are not in contact with the Earth. Hence, we are always trapped by the Earth's gravitational force field. This is due to the interaction of masses at a distance. Electric charges also interact at a distance, attracting or rippling each other, and they do this via an electric field. 